Have you ever thought about a career in agriculture? When you consider that today's modern agriculture offers over 200 rewarding and challenging careers, maybe you should. Today's farming isn't what it used to be and probably isn't what you expect. Think about what you've eaten today. Do you know that it all started with a farmer? Let's hear from some real farmers in southeastern Pennsylvania to learn more about what they do. At Bertrand Hills Farm, we are dairy farmers first and foremost. So pretty much the whole operation revolves around our cows and producing milk. And that means we grow feed for the cows, um, we have pastures for the cows, we breed the cows um, so that we get their offspring to raise up, um, and it's really all about producing milk. On our farm, we raise a lot of tree fruit, apples, Asian pears, peaches, plums, and we also grow a selection of vegetables. A lot of heirlooms, a lot of unique varieties. Urban Farms grows fresh basil. Hydroponic basil is what it is. Combination of aquaculture and hydroponics, which is called aquaponics. And we produce live basil for supermarket trade. We provide two different components in growing the basil. Uh, one is using fresh tilapia, which can also be used for sale to help revenues. And the other is obviously growing fresh basil. It's the fish poop that we turn and convert into plant food. Do you know that none of these farmers grew up on farms? Here's how they realized that farming was for them. I got started in farming uh, probably as a very young child, working in a vegetable garden with my mother, and uh, just developed a passion for the vegetable growing. At age 15, I started working in an orchard and really developed a passion for that, and that's what we're doing today. When I think back about how I developed a passion in aquaculture, um, it really came about when I was in junior high school. I ended up with about 12 or 13 aquariums in my basement and I was breeding fish, selling them to pet shops and, and everything else by the time I finished high school. I noticed I had an interest in nature when we moved out to West Philadelphia and my grandmother had a garden, but when she stopped tending to the garden, I began to tend to the garden. What kind of person makes a successful farmer? If you're the kind of person that you're sitting, you know, in the back of class, you're just looking out the window, longing to be outside, <laughs> that's a pretty good sign that you might like farming. <laughs> you also need to be a people person to some degree. This greenhouse here for this type of farming requires you to be creative. You have to have curiosity about how things work because there's so many things you have to know and so many problems you have to solve and so many dilemmas you have to resolve. And if you're the type that, you know, you see a tree and you wonder, what kind of tree is that? Or, I wonder where those fish came from. Do they only live here? You also need to be able to sell the produce and you need to be able to manage the business because a farm really is a business. If you have any interest in, in nature at all, then this would be the type of program that you would get into. And women are the fastest growing segment of new farmers. Absolutely a woman can be a farmer. I think some of the most successful farms are either run by women or run by a, a partnership involving a woman. No matter who you are, whether you're a woman or a man, it doesn't matter if you love being in the soil and if you love just being connected to the growing things, you just do it. Farming can even take place in the city. This farm can be put right in the middle of the city and you can go into work, you can walk to work from your apartment, your loft if you want, and go into a business like this. We grow almost one acre of product underneath this glass in here. So now all of a sudden you're saving ground and space by putting up a facility like this. So once I go to graduate school, I would hope to come out and teach kids that no matter where you are, you can make it happen if you want it to. Does farming sound interesting to you? Here's how you can learn more on your own. Get out to some farmers markets and meet with farmers first and foremost and really see what it is that they're producing and selling directly to the consumer at the farmers market. If you have any interest, it doesn't matter where you live, the city or the suburbs, get out there. Learn some business basics and take some classes, learn how to 
keep books, make business plans. I think that you should find a place, whether it's a neighbor's farm or a farm down the road, and try it out for a summer. Farming is a much more complex, diverse, and rewarding career than you might think. Kind of unexpected college classes have turned out to be really valuable. Uh, some ag machinery classes that I was just kind of taking because I needed to turned out to be valuable. Some ag engineering classes, which I actually learned about cold storage systems and things like that, which when I was signing up for the class, I was just like, this is just another credit, but they turned out to be very valuable. I took bookkeeping, accounting, various business courses. Some of the mechanical skills that I learned both in college and that I've learned over time, uh, that you can't always just take a piece of equipment to have it repaired, so I've learned to do a lot of my own repair. In high school, I mostly enjoyed any of the core courses like mathematics, science, animal science, biology, history. Now that I'm done high school, I'll be going to Cornell University and I'll be studying animal science with a focus on dairy science and also minoring in business. Uh, this will help me to better understand the farm uh, how the business works. I think that if you're out in the field and you come across something that looks like it's not good or if you're in the greenhouse and it looks like it's something that's not good, um, you need to go through and find a way that can make it better. Whether it, Sometimes you have to try different things, maybe trying half of the crop in a certain way and half of the crop in another way to see if something is really coming up uh, as, is, as being helpful or not. It's sort of like the scientific method from, from you know, middle school uh, science when you like have a control group and then you have a group that you're trying out different things. It might sound cliche, but we're, our, we're the bosses. I mean, if we, we can work four hours if we need to one day, but we can work 12 the next day, depending on and what we're doing, obviously. Um, so it's good to have a freedom and not to be tied down to a desk or I'm not always in the car doing deliveries and I'm not always here, which I, I kind of like. I like to be moved around a bit. I get a little, little, not bored, but anxious in one spot after a little bit. So it's nice to have a little bit of everything. I find a lot of satisfaction connecting with the people who are buying the food that we grow. When you get to connect then directly with people who are buying your product, it makes it all worthwhile. The most rewarding part of farming for me is seeing the final product, whether it's the milk, the cheese that we make, or the feed that the animals eat. At the end of the day, if you can earn a fair wage, have satisfaction for a job well done, and you know have um, the opportunity to be happy at whatever your craft is, I think that's the most important thing. If you want to make half decent money, make a good li living, uh, call your own hours and your own shots, like this is the type of business you know you want to get into. I love being outside and I love, I really love growing food. That to me feels really good. I, I, I like to be a healthy person, I like to eat well and I like to exercise. So if we can provide people with, um, with really quality food, that's really important. And I just love being outside and feeling all the seasons change, it feels really good. I look at our product when I go into the lo local supermarket. And all my family, my friends, and all the people I grew up with see it. And they say, hey, I know that's your basil. You know, and it's wonderful, and people are buying it. And it, it's a gratifying feeling to be able to know that you've made a contribution to the community and you put something out there. So uh, it, it is very rewarding. You know, one of the really neat things about farming like this is I can just walk outside the door, and it's there. And honestly, one of the things that attracted me to farming was just being able to be outside and I love eating. <laughs> I love eating really good food, so that feels really good to know that like the, the, all the things that we're doing are going towards people eating well and having a good life. Everything is different every day. You're not going to a, an office and typing all day. You go out and things are blooming or there's things to pick. Uh, you're outdoors. It feels alive. And you're a, your own boss. Remember, you don't have to grow up on a farm to be a farmer or have a career in agriculture. While farming can be raising animals for meat or milk, growing vegetables, fruit, herbs, and even flowers, it is also about making cheese and harvesting honey. Other options include becoming a landscape designer, forest ranger, water quality specialist, and fish hatchery manager. With the population increasing, there will be great demand for many more people to work in agricultural careers. Remember, everyone eats. If you want to make a real difference in the world, a career in agriculture could be right for you.
I just think it's really important for students to know that, that all kinds of people can be farmers and that um, if you're an honor student but you love farming, you don't necessarily have to go on to be an engineer or a doctor. If you love farming, you should just be a farmer. And if you grew up on a farm and you love farming, that's great too. <laughs> that you, and then thank goodness for people like you because you have a good knowledge of what's going on. And um, yeah, I think it's really great. Thank you.